crossing her fingers, though. Well, the answer is John. Is she still staying with you? Yeah, she's still living with us. Yeah. What type of cancer does she have? She, um, she was diagnosed with late stage um, inflammatory breast cancer back in November. So, yeah, but she, she had chemo radiation and then she had a double mastectomy in April. Um, it was like right after I came back from, from Worlds in Uganda. Um, so it was a lot going on because then we moved her up to Flagstaff. But she's a trooper and she's like eternal optimist. Um, so she feels like, she doesn't like the word I'm going to beat cancer. She says she's going to love it away. I kind of make fun of her a little. <laughs> but um, she's doing really well. That's good. Yeah. So this, despite that, you've been running, feel like, very, very, very well this year. Is that, is running a distraction or how? No, you know, running has always kind of been, I think, like my, I don't know, my freeing moment. Um, yeah, when, when we found out she was sick and she had a couple things going on in the hospital, I was actually heading out to a race and I felt guilty, like, maybe I shouldn't go to the race, but running's my job and it's my passion and it's something that I have to do and I get to do. Um, so the only thing that ever feels like I'm being pulled as like a mom and an athlete, so that's the only time it ever feels a little stressful, but for the most part, I've been able to kind of get everything done through it all. Yeah. How's the training gone for New York? Um, where's some wood? It's gone really well, yeah. It's kind of been one of my, one of my most consistent build-ups over the last eight weeks and the most mileage I've ever run. Um, and I've been able to hang on to Kellen Taylor, my teammate, so that's been really special because she's been training at a really high level the last couple of years, and it just took me a while coming back from kids, but I finally feel like I got to the point where I was back either at that level or hopefully um, a, a level higher than before I had children. Yeah, you guys' PBs are pretty close, but I feel like she recently she's been at a higher level. Is this the first time you've sort of kept up with her in training? Absolutely, yeah. We, we hadn't trained together since 2012, since before I had kids. Um, yeah, and I was a little nervous, like when Coach Ben would put paces on, on workouts. I'm like, I don't know if I can do that. And I hit every pace that he put on the cycle, so that was really encouraging and motivating. So yeah, how do you approach the race? Oh, gosh. Um, you know, a lot of people told me that New York is more like a 28 mile marathon versus 26.2 miles, so we've been doing a lot of strength work, a lot of running up and down hills in Flagstaff, um, so I'm just trying to approach it that you've got to be very in control early in the race and try to not be distracted by the crowds and all the energy, um, you know, and really try to just dig deep that last 10k and, and kind of never... Never stop fighting, no matter how you're feeling. A lot of people, you know, the hills might get the best of them, but I want to fight all the way to the finish line. Do you have like a pace in mind or an effort? I mean, if Mary goes off at... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's definitely some limits we have. You know, if they go off at course record pace, you know, we're not going to go with that because we're not in 222, 223, 224 shape. Um, we've been doing workouts up at Flag where, you know, we did some... Um, 14 and 16 milers, averaging like 549, 550 pace up at altitude. So that, that's showing that hopefully we can average somewhere in the round 535 to 538 pace, um, and we'll just see how that plays out on the New York course. But really, it's all about placing. Have you done any? Is the mileage the same? How do you compare this to other build ups? Um, it's been the highest. So I average. Um, eight weeks around like 104 miles um, with absolutely no hiccups and it was very consistent. My highest week I think was 118 um, and like my lowest was like mid 90s. So it's been it's been really fabulous. Tiring but great. Do you guys go down or you stay up at Flexa? We've stayed up. Um, we have like a couple of places we go. We go to Camp Verde which is at 3,000 feet and so we do a couple of our like faster pace there to get used to like marathon legs but we've done a majority of the flag. We do go to Camp Verde some? We do go to Camp Verde, yeah. That's Just down. To, it is down, yeah. I it's count at 3300. It's like so we can feel like, okay, we can run in the 530s and like we're not totally breathing heavy. Yeah, I don't know how like the Kipchoge's of the world just train at 7,000 and then go race at that pace. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's it's a little bit of, it's a combination of you do shorter stuff and longer stuff and you're almost never actually running marathon pace at altitude, but you have to have a little bit of faith in the whole philosophy of the training that it just will come together on race day. Where do you guys do hills in Plexa? Where don't we? I mean, the whole place is hilly. Um, we have this one, Mount Eldon, where it's um, an up, uphill, 
run that from start to the finish is a little under five miles and it climbs like 2200 feet in those five miles. Um, so we You're did, doing real hills. Yeah, yeah so we okay. like went, we went up that and we ran down. I thought you guys were maybe doing like gradual no, no, long no. runs. Like how would you do like I a... mean, we, the, the Lake Mary Road that we run on is like a rolling hill course and then we normally go one direction but for New York, Coach Ben had us go backwards so that made it a lot more challenging. Um, we're like, we couldn't hit the splits that we would normally hit, but we just went off effort. So I think that prepared us. And I can't imagine a hill on New York is harder than any hill we run at 7,000 feet. So that's, that's encouraging. Yes, you, you've never done New York, right? Never done New York. Not the marathon I've run, but like the mini, the half, and the 5K here. What advice, besides being a 28 mile marathon, what other advice have people given you? Um, Who have you gone to for advice? Yeah, so. Mary Wittenberg, actually, I ran into her a lot this fall randomly, um, and she's the one that told me to like keep fighting the whole way, because she just said people have a tendency to want to give up, and I don't know, I've just done a lot of research over the years, since I'm, I love the sport so much, I've, I've watched the last couple of years of the marathon, I've kind of paid attention to splits, and my husband Ben, you know, helps me like survey the course, and you just can see when people run even efforts, it's like when they run their best, um, and I'm prepared to run alone if I have to. And I think you can't be afraid to know that you might be out there alone. Um, I don't feel like I need to hang on to a pack because it feels over my head. So, yeah, I feel pretty confident that if I just run my own race, um, hopefully the fitness will show. Do you have a place goal in mind, or what, what's the. End yeah, goal? Um, you know, a, a day that's like solid and, and what I should do based on where the training was at would be a top 10 finish. Um, it would really be great if we could. You know, have a few Americans like hit that top ten, and I think on a fabulous day, a top seven finish would be, would be a really great showing. All right, good luck. Thank you.